guys and welcome back or to my space my name is karen meyer and if this is your first time seeing my face welcome to the channel welcome to the family today we're going to be doing a get ready with me for what don't ask me so many questions i don't know why you're entering my life will i show all the products i use i'll try my best but i'm probably going to forget because i'm so forgetful but i'm going to try myself to be a makeup guru for christmas um today i want to do a blue look ask why you're asking too many questions so let's just get into it i hope you enjoy what i end up coming up with um i started makeups like a few months ago so don't judge me if you've been in the game for a year anyway karibuni sana so my face already prepped and primed um i'm just going to push some some vaseline on my lips which is quite useless because i know i am going to What's it called? To eat, to drink some coffee in the next few minutes. So I'm going to start on my brows. <laughs> you know, I hate when YouTubers just skip the brows because the only thing I don't know. But in a few seconds, I'm probably going to be the one skipping. But let's let's do it together for now. So first we brush. Aki, what am I doing? I get ready with me a tutorial, Karen. Don't you know the difference? Okay. So I'm just going to start by doing my brows. I'm using... Kamakawaida Davis number three. The time I used the wrong one. <laughs> I had maroon eyebrows. <laughs> and none of my friends told me to like go to home. In a, like in short, what I'm saying is I'm getting new friends. That's like the moral of the story. <laughs> Why am I laughing? It's sad. It's not funny. Okay. <laughs> Is this my shade? No. Do I still use it? Yes. Should I buy my shade? Probably. Will I buy my shade? Wait to find out. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Glambation palette. So I'm going to be using the shades Espresso, Tanzanite, um, CEO, and Sultry. Um, you know what? I'm going to do one eye as you watch, and then I'll talk to you as I do the other one. Is it? Okay, <laughs> the difference. Oh my god, new girl, who is? Who is? Do you know my name? Anyway, so let's do another topic of the day. So the topic of the day is um, what should we call? What's her name? Oh god, my boob again. The topic of the day is Miss Universe. Friends, Miss Universe is a South African woman called Zonzi. 
Miss Universe is black, has kinky hair, and is African. Fritz, what? That really, damn, damn. That really did it for me. I am not going to lie. That really touched me, honestly. Like I, I was not following it seriously, but I was following like Miss um, Universe Kenya. And I was like, oh, I hope she wins. Um, but then shout out to you. You still did amazing. I was following her. She's such an amazing woman. Speaks sense. It's so beautiful both in and out. I loved it. So I was following her as well. Eh, it looks like I'm about to kill someone's husband. Anyways, so I was following her as well. And like, bro. I remember, I don't know who. I think when she was saying. Okay. So in her speech, she talked about how we as women need to take up more space. And damn, I felt that. I felt that in my, in every gut I have, I really done felt that, well, we as women need to take up more space in society. We need to stand our ground and do what women do. And I feel like, okay, so besides like her powerful speech about like leadership and everything, I feel like what spoke to me is the fact that I can look at her, see myself and see beauty. I mean... I've never had an issue with my color, okay? Don't get me wrong, nah. I have not, I have never really had an issue with my skin color. I've always been pretty content. Honestly, I think, shout out to my mom. Lydia, I love you. Shout out to my mom. Because my mother always, because my mother is a bit lighter than me. And I think, it's my father as well, I don't know. But my mom is much lighter than me. And she'd always tell me, you're such a dark beauty. You're such a black beauty. You're such, uh, she's called me. A, an African queen or something ever since I was young so I just grew up knowing yo my skin color is popping like I'm beautiful just the way I am you know what I mean and then so I've never had a big issue with my skin color you know and I know so many girls who are my color and or darker have had okay I can't multitask so I know that girls my color have had I know so many friends even who are my color or darker who have had issues with their skin color obviously because of how society deems dark skin to be less beautiful and this is shore who's from jamaica who i adore she she had this trending video that said um she was talking about how this guy saw her and said wow you're beautiful for a dark skin and she said no honey i'm beautiful because i'm beautiful or when you're dark and someone tells you you're so beautiful what are you mixed with or Wow, I don't, oh yeah, the video was, oh, I don't date dark skins, but for you, I'll make us an, an exception. And she was like, honey, honey, you don't, you don't even know what, what you're dealing with, you know what I mean? And it's a thing where being dark is no, was at some point no longer considered trendy. It was all about the light skins. Even so, so came up with their song, um, Melanin, so fun, you're the queen of the dance pro. And then of course, you know, Beyonce had dark skin girl. I mean brown skin girl and I remember when Brassi Dika became dark because it was the trend I don't know what that whole facade was about or that whole like whatever happened was about but like being dark I know some people who don't are not proud of their dark skin and would love to trade it for anything else but I thank God for my mom because she never like my mother really empowered the black out of me like I'm telling you, please, if you have children, if you're gonna get children, empower them to be proud of their dark skin. Because personally, I've never felt inferior, less of a woman, less beautiful because of my color. I have my insecurities, maybe my weight, something about my body, but it's never been about my color. And I shout out to my mom and the people around me. But since I know so many girls who have had that as their um, their insecurity, it's so nice that now Miss Universe is black. And she's not like black, like like a little light. She's like black, black. You know what I mean? Like she is, she's black. Okay, where were we? I'm so sorry, I've just done the eyes. Um, I'm going to put on my lashes now. So, story time about the lashes. Friends, just uh, some advice. Don't lose your lashes. If they're great quality lashes, assuming you'll find them at the store next door, just don't save. Like, now what the heck are these? Like, these are the worst lashes I've ever seen. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Like, they are hideous. Look at how strandy they are. This one is for which lash? So you can't even tell me these ones, but I think it's for this lash. So I'm going to be 
priming my eyelashes this is the type I'm going to have to add mascara to so that it looks like it's one what do they look like they're just doing anyway so yeah it's so I'm so happy that Miss Universe is black I am so happy that now girls can look at Miss Universe and see their, their faces see themselves see hope see that they're accepted worldwide see that they are loved see that they are special and see that their beauty is still beauty okay so what else i gonna talk about yeah i'm just happy about miss universe like i'm very happy she's dark and i'm very happy that dark skins can happily embrace their skin color and see themselves you know so if you're dark or i don't care what color you are i don't care what your complexion is if it's the if it's on the darker excuse me if it's on the darker side like me or on the lighter side i hope that as an african woman you can see yourself in Zinzo, zonzi i hope you can see yourself in her i hope you can look and say wow we are beautiful we who are this complexion are gorgeous you know what i'm saying anyway it's time for the second lash Niambeni. okay maybe it's not like that ugly but like it's still ugly the lashes are still hideous like they're not that hideous but like they're still at the end of the day they're still ugly because they're cheap and like plastic um where was i oh yeah in other news huda called people fat the other day i don't know how i feel about that of course i'm just like what the hell mama and then the worst part is edgar like he he, he pointed out something so i went through her pictures and even she like photoshops her own pictures so who is she to call people fat when she herself photoshops her own pictures come on you first be confident in your own skin and then you can come attacking other people and it's all with the gross keys. Happy know your babes and our low key. Yeah, I don't got you no said do that. You trying to take it down, but we said no. All my friends are dead, but the This is the final look. Thanks so much for sticking around with my get ready with me. If you enjoyed this, this and me blabbergasting the usual, tell me and I would love to do more of these if you like them though. Like see must, but if you like them, I wouldn't mind doing more of these. I enjoyed this look completely. It was inspired by the fact that I've never used that blue before. And here was the final look. I hope you liked it. Um, yes, if you have questions, I will answer in the comment section below. And as always, if you're black, embrace it. Black is beautiful. Black is magic. Black is gold. Until next time, this is my space. As always, don't forget to be kind and be loving and keep prepping. I love and I appreciate you. Sana sana. Take them to the end zone, oh, but if you fuck up, man, it's the end oh, yeah. Cause my guys be gallant, yeah. man, it's Gaga balance, eh. Hey, you know, I know, I like, yeah, you know, so now we be a bad ass. But my guys be gallant, yeah. man, it's Gaga balance, eh. Hey, you know, I know, I like, you know, so now we be a bad ass. You wanna jack by London, cause they fucking with the dog or don't. Don't matter where we coming from.